Hello! Monsters of Ban here and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes and Part 13 of my Sima UA campaign. Of course every 13 episodes is unlucky for someone and today it's unlucky for the Jin Empire but more so it's unlucky for Wu Yan Ying down here who is currently on fire. Yep, that looks like a lot of fire. Okay, so Sima Yue is laying siege over here. We've got we've got a Jin army. Uh, we've managed to defeat another Jin army last episode. That was quite a tough one. I think that was a faction leader, in fact, and they've had to fall back. And with the death of that army, I don't think there's really much that Jin can do to stop us. They've still got some territory down here. I've got to be a little bit careful that armies don't start cropping up down here, because if they do, we could be in some trouble. Okay, for a minute there, I thought that was an army flag. It isn't. That's okay. So we're going to start capturing some of this territory down here because I want it, basically. And I've decided that's going to be what we do. Um, we've managed to actually secure quite a chunk of China. And if, if we can grab this southern part as well, even better. And then we can maybe look at expanding down here. Meanwhile, our main potential rival is almost certainly going to be Sima Yong, who has, who has managed to conquer quite a large chunk of northern China just north of the... Is this the, the, the Yellow River? The Yellow River, yeah. Yeah, so he's captured this territory along here, and he has, um, to be fair, been the one who's been dealing with the Jin Empire mostly. Now, some might say I've taken advantage of the fact that um, that Sima Yong has been doing all the ha all the hard work, and I'm just reaping the benefits. And to those people, I say, fair enough, but I'm still going to do it. So, we've got some research. We've actually, I, think, I feel like the problem with the research tree is there's not really enough to research... I thought like the, the research tree in Three Kingdoms is nice, but it takes so long to reach any of the individual points. Whereas this research tree, I mean, I'm pretty much finishing it off. Um, it's, I'm really down to just picking like the things that I'm just kind of like, okay, I'll have that. Um, I guess I'll have that. Because we've got everything else. Um, but we're still actually not that close to, to reaching Imperial Prince, which is the next rank of research when we can do things like... Okay, so that's got the, the Onyx Dragons. Those are nice, like those guys. Uh, there's the Yellow Dragons. Plus 25 bonus experience. Okay, fair enough. Campaign movement range. That's the Pearl Dragons. That's the G Infantry, I want to say. Heavy Infantry. Dependent about relations, spine, all that kind of good stuff. So we, we probably want to be grabbing this stuff as well. Plus 10% income from industry. That would be quite nice. Basically, I want to make money. I want to get my, my in infrastructure uh, built up. Uh, we've got four armies at the moment, which is pretty good. Obviously, you know, more is better, right? Quantity has a quality all of its own. Which means if we just throw enough people at the problem, then that's good. Ah, I, I was wondering whether they might attack. And indeed they have. And that's nice, because it's going to make life significantly easier for us. It's a big army, but I think we've got this. I mean, it's a really big army. They've got a lot of archers, and uh, that that's probably fine. Probably. So here comes the enemy army. Uh, we're pound, pounding it already with our trebuchets. Apparently the enemy cavalry is just not really... They don't seem to be bothering much. They seem to be holding back for some reason, whatever that reason may be. But it's fine. Some of you wait in the... Uh, just, just keeping an eye on them, to be honest. And there's our arm. We can see cavalry on the flanks. We've got the... Um, Warriors in the front and then archers behind them. Pretty classic. Trevor Jay's actually getting you know, good work done, actually. I've got to give that to him. Uh, they've killed 91 already. So they're still pretty bloody effective. They're just not wiping out entire units in one hit, which, you know, is probably not the worst thing. So they've got a whole bunch of archers and militia archers. Oof. Uh, some saber infantry. Some axe band. Uh, some infantry captains over on the left flank. Sima Yue is apparently going to engage the enemy commander. Wu Ying Ting. Oh. 
Wu gets him down. But I think... Mate, mate, oh, God, he took an arrow to the hand. That's, that's not good. I think he's got this. I think he'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like he's taking Wu literally to pieces. Our archers are concentrating fire on the enemy archers, trying to take them down. Looks like Sima Yue is easily going to win this. Our warriors are moving in to engage. Cavalry flanking around. How is Sima Yue doing? Come on, just finish her off. That'll do it. Okay, cavalry hitting the flanks now. Coming in. Taking apart. We need to deal with the enemy cavalry, though, which is what we're doing on the left flank. He Lun taking on some of the mounted lancer militia. Two of our units taking on the enemy cavalry. More cavalry heading in now. Our warriors are just absolutely just chopping their way through the enemy infantry. It's just not even close. They're just murdering them. I'm mostly in my Martun campaign use spear infantry, but I feel like actually our warriors are pretty bloody good. Now, on the right flank here, we've got some problem with multiple units of enemy saber cavalry coming in. But fortunately, units of our cavalry are now freed up. We've got some lance cavalry coming in. In comes some of the sword guard. And we just need to deal with these enemy archers because. Their archers have been concentrating on our archers, and our archers have taken a lot of damage in the meantime. Look how many of... Look, most of our units have re really taken a lot of damage. Poor guys. Simo UA is taking apart some of the archers, trying to slow them down, so damage down. On the left flank, we've finally managed to see off most of the enemy cavalry. And now we're just concentrating on mopping up those flanks so we can come and assist the centre. But the centre doesn't really need any help because our warriors have... I mean, look at the warriors here. 67 kills. Uh, compared to Save Militia here, 49. As you can see, the, the difference is stark. Uh, the the Sabre infantry there just getting absolutely torn to pieces. Cavalry now flooding in on the flanks. The enemy flanks have collapsed. That's allowing us to mop up. And the last few units taking, taking a lot of damage, getting hit from every direction. Huge piles of dead in the centre there. And you can see the last few units, even this unit of Axe Band, who's barely touched, runs into our unit of warriors. Um, ends up taking a lot of damage, unsurprisingly. They've managed to kill three. I mean, some of these warrior units, 139 kills there. You don't, I don't really see my infantry get much done in the Martun campaign. But then, you know, it was mostly spear infantry, who are mostly defensive rather than offensive. The warriors here, 143 kills. That is very respectable. Not bad at all. And our cavalry are going to go and chase down as many of the enemy units as possible. Some of you on foot. UA on foot there. And, uh, yep, nice easy win despite being outnumbered. You know what? Normally I don't see my melee infantry get much done. But to be fair, 143 kills, 175. It's not bad. Everyone did very well. Nice work, everyone. Chang, hello. What are you? You are maimed. Okay, that's not a big deal, but you're also not just very good. So I'm just going to release you. Let the captives go. You is kind-hearted, graceful, and greedy. Okay, let's just release you. Free them all. And Wu is graceful. Brilliant. That's good. Ambitious. Yeah. Philanthropic and maimed. I mean, maimed isn't great. Ambitious is not the best, but brilliant is a really nice trait. That plus 15% ammunition for all units and minus 30% ammunition. Let's... Woo! You know what? You're in. You're in. Let's take the replenishment as well, because I think we're going to need it. Hello. Okay, that's the Yellow River, so that's fine. I know where that is. Maybe trying to retake the capital. But that's Sima Yong's problem, Offer not mine. Us. Yeah, we're not. We expected gratitude. I don't know why you did. Previous experience should tell you what was going to happen there. Uh, attacker supply shortage. They've lost reserves, which means they're going to take even more attrition damage. 
And then we can just, yeah, delegate that, I think. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Yeah, they lost, they lost four. Um, oh, you're back again. Hello, you. Now you're scarred. Oh, dear. Yeah, I think I'm just going to release you again. It would Bye. Be unjust to punish them further. It, it would be, wouldn't it? She's kind-hearted. So it's just not the best. Uh, apparently, Heelun is cheerful, as is Zhao Shaotain. They're both cheerful. That's nice. Um, what's double nice is the fact that because Heelun is, of course, our faction heir, we get plus five satisfaction faction-wide. Good. That's nice. Lovely. And... Attack! We could demand surrender. They're just going to keep at it. Um, okay, we'll, we'll continue the siege. I might fight that one, actually, just for funsies. Apparently, Sima Yong and Sima Yue are friends. That's going to make the inevitable betrayal so much worse. But never mind. We'll cross that terrible bridge when we have to. Okay, let's go and take this small town. And then we can go and take the rice paddy. Wow, really? Nothing? They literally just folded. Okay, so that's using a lot of food, but it's bringing us some income, so fine. We'll, we'll take that. I'll, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, actually, we're getting a lot of income from peasantry here, aren't we? I don't know what the rice... Does the rice paddy give any income? Probably not. But we can grab it anyway. That's going to give us more food. Then we're looking pretty good down there. We're going to take the regional city. Sima Yue needs to replenish for a little while, but then we can maybe go after this regional city over here. My lord. Um, let's repair that. Industrial tool manufacturer. Oh, that's quite nice. Look at that, 500 income. Awesome. It's really nice. We're, we're doing well. Everything is just... It's just... It's coming up. It's all coming up. What do we got? Commerce here and peasantry. That would give us for income. For, you know what? I don't think we need the food right now, do we? So that's two more food for less income. I'm kind of like... Let's take the income. Let's just do that. Uh, what about you? Anything we want to do here? We've got merchant registry office. That would make them a little bit unhappier. But to be honest, that's probably... I don't really care. They can suck it up. And we can do that there as well. That's going to give us more income. What about assignments? Do we have any... Princess Pei is back. You want to be doing this, don't you? Because we want the influence. More influence, more good. We're clearing up in the south. Oh, this is this is going so well. I was a bit worried that we didn't, we didn't have anywhere to expand to. But now look at this. The Jin Empire is crumbling. And we're mopping up. We're, we're helping. We're, we're participating. I'm participating. We offer you peace. Take it. No. Greed is an ugly trait. Look, mate, I would happily give you a peace treaty. But it's not it's not my call to make. Sorry. Okay, so that, there's a little fleet just heading up the Yellow River. I don't know where they're going. I'll keep an eye on it just in case they decide to land and then for some reason come and attack me instead of attacking anyone else. If they do, we can no. We expected gratitude. Why? For God, what, why? Every time. You know what the definition of insanity is? Uh, Sao Hyun formed a coalition. Okay, sure, don't care about that. Invited Jin Ember to... Really? Remarkable talent. A man comes before you, poi possessed, he insists, of a remarkable talent. He claims to know the Chen Shou's records of the Three Kingdoms by heart. To prove it, he will tell you a character's tale for a price. Whose story would you like to hear? Cutting Sima Yi, ancestor of the princes... Bonus experience for Sumo UA. Okay. So we get the same, or we can just tend to piss off. I mean, I, th I say we go with what gives us might. Lu Bu, the greatest warrior of all China, who in my Martun campaign, I, I stole his spear and then kicked him into the gutter. So let's learn about how we stole his spear and kicked him into the gutter. You are regaled by the stories of Lu Bu, a mighty warrior worth a thousand, his betrayal of the tyrant Dong Zhao. You are filled with wonder. And the bit where Ma Tong stole his spear and told him to fuck off. Good stuff. Ah, Sima Yue has ranked up. Good, 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 good. Right, what we got? Scare? Not bad. Um, charge speed. Mm. Melee evasion for melee infantry. I mean, that would make these guys super duper. I mean, Flames of the Phoenix is good, though. Plus two noble support. Hmm, unbreakable. Yeah. Nature's ally. I'm not too bothered by that. Um... I'm kind of tempted to go for the intensity. 
We could go for charge speed. I think we'll go. I, I want flame to the phoenix. I would. I do want diligence. Do I go diligence? I'm. I'm going to go intensity because. Getting Flames of the Phoenix is a really good ability for killing like large swaths of infantry. Um, so grabbing that's probably going to be quite good. Can we just take this city? I, th I don't think it's really worth it. I'll just delegate it. Order has been restored. Yeah, I'll be all right. Oh, apparently we've got another. Is that an eavesdropper? Again? Oh, it's Devious Attendant. Okay. Mm, fine. Right, so we've got the regional city. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. We're losing so much food now. Um, shit. Right. Okay, what do we have here? Let's convert you. That'll give us more food. Yes. That seems like a good shout. What do you wish, my lord? Uh, we're upgrading that. That's going to give us more food. Is that going to give us 43 food? It's a level 9 city. That's why. I don't really want that. Can I just knock it down? No, I have to repair it. before. Apparently, I have to repair it before I can just knock it down. Fine. Ah, that's also using a lot of food. We'll be okay for a couple of turns. I might have to convert that. I mean, I don't know if it's worth having it. We could. I think. I think we can just convert it. I don't think we need the garrison. We could probably knock that down. I don't feel like garrisons are really worth it. Right, Sima Yue, how are you doing? Not bad. You just need a little bit more replenishment, don't you? So that's okay. Let's go and grab the rice paddy. That'll help with our food problems a little bit. Those who do not bend to authority will break it. Exactly. Something like that anyway. It would be, because, you know, rice. Need the rice. I like rice. It's good. Uh, it's only going to give us two food. That's not as much as, you know, I need. Um... Okay. You not haven't you haven't acquired any more Simakau hasn't acquired any more babies, has he? No, good. Just just the four. Not sure where they came from, but that's probably fine. Um How long before you're fourteen? Okay, so you're actually not far away from from growing up. And then we'll have some some more peeps. Now, Simaki, you're gonna have to there's more food down here. Yeah, if you can grab, if you can like sweep northward, like head down to the coast, we'll, we'll try and keep these guys on side. They don't like me very much, and at some point they might declare war. But if we could just finish off the Jin Empire before that happens, that would be good. I mean, let's get more food, right? I mean, income is really good at the moment. Look at how much income we get. Ah, oh, so good. Um. We can upgrade. That's going to give us more food and more money, which is double good. That was just that devious attendant who isn't really that useful because reasons is fine, I think. We offer you peace. Take I would really love to give you peace, but I think Sima Yong is currently in the process of brutally murdering your empire. So considering that I'd have to kill you eventually anyway, I'm kind of not that cut up about it. Really? I think I'm alright. Just let you do your thing. Um, right, the Jinnet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is your last chance. Yeah, whatever. For A rude rejection. I mean, yet, entirely. I mean, you could have seen it coming. Basically. You, you really should have seen it coming. Uh, Saokya, okay, don't care about that. Similar way to clear war on that guy. Okay, fine, whatever. Now, this army down here. I don't know if you fought a battle. I think, I think the Jin Empire is starving. Our patience is thin. Doesn't look like they're starving. I wonder if they've run out of money. They don't have a lot of money in their treasury. Um, let's have a look at our spies. So 
You are a general. Where are you? Oh, you're there. You're that army. Over here. Right. I can find you. Oh, yes, there you are. Jin Yu. You are indeed leading that army. Hmm. Okay. You, on the other hand, are just not doing anything. Apparently, we can't even steal stuff. Discredit character. Um, who do you have in your... I mean... I don't really... Cost traders. Mm, empower traders. And we could do that. Just just for kicks and giggles, sure. Effect on the weather. Uh, you, the effect of the weather on crop yields, territory patterns, and banditry, and current success of merchant routes all influence trade. One of our spies has mastered the art of studying and predicting these effects, enabling them to exploit faction markets and increase our own trade power. Good stuff. Gonna give us a little bit more money. Now, food. Right. So, yes, this is a problem. I'm tempted just to knock it down. Because it's using so much food. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. I'm going to also go and demolish that. Um, there's no point in demolishing more than one thing at a time, is there? I don't really... It does get more income from industry. We could maybe just do that. Can we just go with that? It's only one turn. Um... I kind of need something that makes... Okay, we'll, we'll knock down that. And... Okay, let's upgrade that. We'll, we'll build up our industry income here because we've got... We've got the toolmaker. So that should be fine. This army is pretty much ready to go. So let's lay siege to the small regional city. Our food is a slight concern. Uh, let's... Can I demand surrender? Nope. All right. We'll just continue the siege then. I'm going to send... Sao Su to go and grab the lumber yard. And meanwhile, you are just going to stay there until you heal up. We'll keep an eye on the north just to make sure no Jin armies are doing anything over there. Uh, you are going to come down to the livestock farm and grab that. We're going to head all the way down to the large town down here and then head up the coast and mop up all that. I think that's the plan. Okay, we've got, we're using food here. It's not ideal. Uh, what we got? So there's some peasantry income there. We're not going to get any peasantry income here. That's just food, isn't it? So let's go for government support. Get a bit of socialism going on. Uh, that should help. This is your last chance. Ugh, every peace. single turn, no. We expected gratitude. I don't know why. I mean, Jesus. So it looks like the Jin Empire is literally on its last legs. That uh, their collapse happened very quickly. Because at one point, I I honestly thought we were. My allies were screwed, but Sima Yong just took them apart. No problem. A little bit worried about that. I have growing concerns that uh, it could be a bit of an issue. Okay, uh, that's fine. Jin Empire signed a peace treaty. Okay, your power increases, Grand Prince. Good. Okay, so we've got the next, and just in time as well. So we've got that research, and we've got the road to the capital. So more money. Order, sir. The towering walls, the enemy settlement. Okay, that's let's destroy some walls. That'll work. Now, research. What do we want? What do we want? I do like the Onyx Dragons. They are really good. And more replenishment. I think that's that's going to be what we're going to grab first. So let's do that. Some traits gained. Apparently, Simajin Wen is artful. Good for you. Some people have joined. G is apparently leveled up. Good for you. Let's go and grab that livestock farm down there. That's mine now. 
Thank you. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Indeed. It will prosper for the better under my rule. It sounds a little bit evil, but that's probably fine. Is an unquenchable flame. Indeed. Um, let's yeah, let's get. F Wait, you don't have. You don't have archers, so. Ignore forest penalties. Available art campaign movement range when commanding. You're not commanding. We could get stifling deluge, because that's just good. Let's do that. Let's do that. We could just Yeah, doing night battle isn't the we could just delegate. We'll win. Probably take a lot of damage. Or we could just wait. I feel like taking the city shouldn't be that difficult. Victory belongs to us. We'll wait until next turn, knock down those walls, and then we will finish them off. This is what you train for. And I don't think we need help, so we're just going to send Sal Su down there to sort that out. These units have replenished, good, and you are slowly gaining. Peeps. Let's get the land surveying office. Because we do have some peasantry income. Which will be good to keep if we can. Um, I, I want to build it up, but I couldn't downgrade it because I didn't have the tech for that building, which wasn't which wasn't ideal. Looks like most of the Jin Empire has collapsed. Where are they? Can we even see them? So the Jin Empire is is the, these guys over here, down here. Yeah, so they're, they're basically just being split apart. I'm worried they. I, I keep saying this. Like, I'm worried they may be building armies around here, and that could be. Pro we need to basically seize this territory as quickly as possible. And if we can do that, then we can send another army down here to help out uh, Simar Key to just make sure that all these territories. And once we've got that, it's just a case of just building our empire up and getting some more armies getting some infrastructure going especially in the southern regions down here where we probably there's probably just not enough the, level, the buildings aren't built up so we just need to build them up asap so probably try and limit the amount of armies we have to start off with and then use the income we're getting to just build those buildings very very quickly because of course you can instantly construct buildings so that's what we need to be doing and uh, trying to get us just making more and more money and once we've got all that money we can then start spending it on armies and thinking about our next conquest assuming no one declares war on, war on us uh, during during that point which is of course they, they probably will because that tends to be what the AI likes to do um, however I think that's all the time we've got for this episode that's where we're going to leave it thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next episode of the Simar UA campaign <laughs>